we are in the midst of a cave adventure at the start of today um i'm going to do something because we are in two groups today um and i have two groups to address and almost totally separate things um i'm going to have us do combination roles to determine the order today so i'll have um kennedy and and um trevor roll and we'll add their total and then i'll have scott and uh tyler roll and whichever team gets a higher total i will send in first ah <laughs> uh, way to go guys well it's <laughs> not gonna be us <laughs> <laughs> seems seems unlikely Lovely. <laughs> yeah, time to get coffee yeah. i get one for uh tyler and scott just to confirm well scott beat you on his own so that uh, sort of determines how that's going to work out lovely <laughs> okay uh, and then i'll do a mini turn order within the turn order which is the order of two in your groups and we'll be good to go all right let's try the uh the underground music and let's pop over to Let's pop over to Coronet Floor 2. Yeah, this is great. Literally. It just kind of like fills in that in between. Yeah, let's see who recognizes the music they do. All right, so. Because of the rules we got today, it looks like... I didn't get one from Tyler, actually, but... I don't know if Tyler's here. Are you there, Tyler? He did mute himself, but uh Yeah, I'm here. Alright. So Looks like Tyler's going first. I guess so. Well, knowing that, Tyler, let's pick up where you left off. And where you left off, you head on up to the top. Mr. Fister. Um, nightshade, yeah. Strength saving throw, sir. <laughs> How many more fucking rock slides do you have? He's only done it twice. Did Full it? brunt. And to be knocked prone again. This time for seven rock damage. Mr. Fister is looking worse for wear. Why are you doubling? What? This is, doubling. Oh, it's four. Okay. I was like, what? This is... I am prone again. <laughs> and you are knocked prone again, yes. Uh, Tazzle, at this point, are you going to intervene in this situation or allow it to continue playing out? Um. I can do Fuck! Mr. Fister very much appears to be losing this fight. Strafe wants to help. Who? <laughs> Strafe is apparently the name of his crap. Oh, Strafe. Oh. Strafe can help. Strafe can help if he wishes. Just remember not to get boiled. <laughs> oh. uh, Strafe, for every two turns you are down here, I'm going to have to make you make a constitution saving throw. So, Strafe, roll into initiative for me. Oh, golly. I gotta push buttons. Uh, initiative. Let me switch over to him. Strafe will be going first. Make your move, little crab, before you boil in your shell. You want me to do a con save first? Mm mm. Okay. Make your move. Every two turns. Uh, bubble. That just hits three times, right? Oh, wait, let me do this. Um, roll three. That just auto hits, I think, if we were said, right? What does? Bubble. 
No. No, you have to roll. Not bubble. Roll three times. No, bubble's not an auto hit move. There are auto hit moves, but bubble's not one of them. Bubble, so what's your special about bubble is you need to roll three ranged attacks. There are three separate bubbles that come out of a bubble attack. Each with their own chance to hit. Uh, and of those, all three will hit. That's 12 water damage. Oh, sorry. Wait, no more than that because plus one to each. So uh, so the total is actually eight. Oh, so it's 16. 16 water damage. Which will paint Mr. Strafe on your on the radar to be destroyed. <laughs> Mr. Strafe, he will approach you and he will use fury attack. And uh, a fury attack is going to look like this. I'm going to try to hit you first, which is going to be a d20 plus three. Oh, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you good. And now I'm going to start rolling d4s. I will add the modifier at the end, so there will be more than it looks like. He gets another one. He gets just the two. So it's five plus three. That's going to be eight normal damage to you, sir. And that makes it your turn, Vister. Okie dokie. These things are terrifyingly dangerous, as we all know. Yeah. Why? Because you're unable to deal damage. <laughs> Str Strafe, take another turn for me. Right, let's do another bubble. I think Fister got his, uh, his face mask crumpled a little bit, and he's having trouble seeing through it. That's two hits. I'm looking at the health of your guys' teams. Are you singing the chicken song? No. I don't think you were singing the chicken song. I am not singing the chicken song. I am I am singing battle battle for battle for life as elf mesprit Yuxi. What? What? Hold on. I didn't see. Uh, nope. Ten, because plus one to each die. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so, ten points of damage, which will then cause the Rhyhorn to attack you once more. Hitting you again. Starting with a d4. And then another one. And then another one. So, that's six plus two uh, uh, is going to be eight, plus another three is going to give you eleven points. Of normal type damage to strafe. A terrifying enemy appears has never been quite so accurate. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it Fister's turn next? Yeah. Finally! Fister has landed a solid strike okay. of some variety. I switch to astonish my guy. <laughs> you have been, you have been flinched. <laughs> I have been flinched. Very nice. Been flinched. Very nice. Ooh. Thirteen ghost damage. And thirteen ghost damage to boot that thing. Um, I lose my next turn as well. Um, but for the time being, while we consider this, I'm going to pop back over to the other group for a minute. And starting once again with Heinrich. At the top of the turn order again. Strafe. Do it. Do it. Get him. Give it a shot, buddy. Give him the, give him the crabs. All right, I'm gonna have to my side effects. And one of my rolls had two exclamation points, and I used an advanced roll. Kind of weird. You have exploding dice on. You should turn that off. Exploding dice? Yeah, it's a system used by some other tabletop games where if you roll the highest number that can, you can see on a die, it auto rolls another one. Oh, huh. okay. I don't even know. That's weird. That compound is shot around. So, okay. Yeah. You hit one attack. <laughs> God damn it! 
<laughs> once, motherfucker. You have four. <laughs> you have with, four. With a Rhyhorn flinch, Fister can make an attempt to do something. Still four damage. Before I do that, Tazzle. Yes. Would you like to catch this Rhyhorn? <laughs> I've got one Pokeball left, and I'm thinking be catching something else. But do you want this? Because that'd be pretty cool. I will take it, but I am asking you first, because since you landed the last hit. That's true, you can take it. Okay, dokie. Yeah, <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're right, but. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably trade that too. It's true. Whoa. That's a lot. He's off. Bat 19. Wow. That's nice. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> He's Pokeball using a normal land. Pokeball. This Pokeball will land nice and true. And as we see an angry Rhyhorn disappear into a Pokeball, we will, of course, request that Kendra make a decision. I'm, I'm just going to send the Ryan horn off. I'm afraid that if I let that thing out, it's going to hurt everybody. I see, I see. <laughs> and, and so, um, I can't see the fucking With my thing. fucking luck today, it'll probably fucking come out and start <laughs> pushing me right into the fucking lava. Start pushing you into the lava. We uh we were we were getting to the point where we were going to talk about pushing people into the lava if I uh, had not gone on much longer. Um, we didn't get there, but we were talking about it. Uh, all right. So a creature has appeared in your booklet. Indeed. Um, just a heads up for everybody. I hope your notes are good because I'm pretty sure all of the tokens are going to have to get redone. Um, yeah, so I have I have all my notes. So. Well, yeah, well, what I'm gonna do, I need to change. I need to fundamentally change the way I'm doing the game. Instead of dragging in a new token every time I generate a Pokemon, I need to go make named. I need to go make a named sprite for every Pokemon, and just have and just do lookup tables instead of dragging in a new sprite every time. So I need to spend some time uploading 700 Pokemon. <laughs> uh, or at least. At least the common Pokemon. Um, but in order, basically, in order to fix the way Roll20 is right now, I just had to delete like 300 sprites, and I'm going to have to delete them all to really clean this up properly. And I bet it's going to break a lot of things. Um, so, probably next, the beginning of next session, things will be very broken, but we'll worry about that at that point. So I said, make sure your health and, and AC stats are good because we'll probably have to redo them on the tokens <laughs> next time. Oh yeah. Anyway, that Rhyhorn is captured. Some things to learn about that Rhyhorn there, Kendra. That particular individual was level four. Sweet. Nice. Um, that particular individual was level four, and he. Let's see here. Need gender, nature, and ability. Oh, far. Yeah, I'm gonna put him oh, in my. Shit. <laughs> he was level four. You see his uh, his health, and you see you can grab off his token real quick, which I encourage you to do, since of course, um, that will have to be redone at some point. That um, fucking health, though. No wonder fucking Tyler has two of these. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jesus. He he rolled a 15 on his nature check. So, let's see what he got. Uh, could not load page. Very helpful. Very helpful. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. I got it. Naughty. Explains a lot. <laughs> so be it. He is a naughty right heart. We take that as so that's going to give you plus two wisdom, minus two charisma. Yep. And we are going to get him a gender or her a gender let's find out it's 50 50 split on a rhyhorn you have generated a boy 
And I need ability, please. There's two abilities you could have. They have two available abilities, and this one is going to have lightning rod. Okay. Ability determined. And with the combat completed, Strafe and Mr. Fister not so better off for it. Um, we are looking for some direction from the two of you. I'd say this room's pretty much done. <laughs> it, it probably could be. Um, do we want to head over to like here? Oh, Where it is worth. Fisters? It is worth noting, Mr. Strafe, um, that is going to be a level up for you, sir. Hey, very nice. Thank God. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Congratulations. You bring Strafe to level four. <laughs> and um, let's roll me a health die for Strafe as we move on here, noting that he will have three ASI points to distribute when he has time. Oh, thank God, mm -hmm. he didn't roll a one. <laughs> Suck. Nice. Six. 29 plus six. That's going to give him, uh, if my math is as good as it's supposed to be, 36 HP. Uh, I'm just going to temporarily put his token at max. And update it. Just make sure you, again, have it correct on your sheet so we can update these things later. Six. Yeah, I put them, to th I put them to 29 to 35, right? 36. Or 35. 35. 35. You're right. Yeah, I was looking at that yeah. first. I was like, oh, Math is hard. It's good. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> 35. Yeah. Math. <laughs> uh, I get it. <laughs> That sucks. Save <laughs> changes. Uh, at the moment, he's got 15 health. Yes. So, yeah. It goes up plus six or whatever, right? If he, from wherever. he gained five health from leveling up, but he still only has 15 health. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. Well, it actually did he get six health from his level. He got six health from his level. So he gets 16. He has 16 health. You are correct. Anyway, Mr. Strafe, you have three ASI from this level to distribute when you have the moment to do so. Um, what is your guys' plan? Uh, I encourage you to remember also, because I will remind people about this, um, two ASI can be traded for a feat. Two, or is it all the ASI when you rank up? Two. I've been playing it as two. Wow. I've been playing it as two when you get level ups, and when you evolve, it costs three because you get a shit ton at once. Okay. 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 So for this for this purpose, you can trade two of those three for a feat and have one ASI remaining. Hmm. Uh, but you can distribute that later. I'm looking for some input from Kendra and or Tazel, or the both of you combined as to what to do now. Uh, Kendra, mm -hmm. as this battle concludes, I would ask you to make a constitution check for me. Want me to do it for Krabby, too? Yes, I would like you to do it for Krabby. I was going to cover that afterward, but you can do it now, too. 12. He is resistant to fire, but I don't know if that matters. <laughs> 21. All right, Kendra. Kendra, you're sweating it out in good shape. Um, you're taking the heat. Your clothes are starting to feel a little damp. It's fine. It's taking its sweat toll on you. That's what sweat is for. Just to cool down the body temperature. It's taking its toll on you. You're going to need to drink some fucking water after this. <laughs> How about you, Strafe? You got a 12. Strafe got a 12? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Strafe, for you, sir, as the heat begins to take its toll on your body, subtract four health from him. Ugh. You can see his shell start to crack as it dries out. Yeah, man. I, I had to put Marshall away because he was drying out. 
Streets, just bring it on. I'm gonna evolve. <laughs> Marshall's already evolved and he had to go in back in. He's gonna be like, he's gonna, take, he's gonna be in so much damage that he's just gonna evolve. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. He's just a brutal. Fire Pokemon. What a brutal Matt. He becomes a fire type. Water fire. That'd be hilariously <laughs> fucked up. Oh. All oh, right. The cracks um, in his shell has like, f like flames occasionally come out of it. So, Tazzle, mm -hmm. Strafe is currently blocking the exit for anyone else to leave the yeah, he'll get out of there. divot. Kendo <laughs> is like six inches tall or something. I don't know. Kendo, uh, would you make an athletics check for me to climb out of here? Yes. Don't fall in the lava, please. Chloe will just kind of fly. Oh. <laughs> and you're on your way out. You grab a hold of a rock that's much hotter than you think it would have been, and you tumble back down into the divot. Are we trying to climb back up the same way we just came in? Yep. You, well, you, you didn't, didn't go down. You didn't, you didn't even go down. <laughs> yeah, here, I'll go over here and try to help you up. Take my strong hand. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, do we want to go back out into the main cavern room and just continue along the edge very safely and carefully? <laughs> oh, I was sending Chloe up here. She was just like, I'm like, I'm on a fucking trip. She, as she as can, Chloe, I guess. As Chloe <laughs> descends into the extremely heated caverns below, she notices her feathers begin to flare up. She says, fuck this. It turns back around. <laughs> Not worth it. Grab a bow on me. Actually, don't do that. I mean, I I had that. Did I had Marshall do that <laughs> to me? All he of the gave me a slight water gun. Where is that All of too? the microfibers on the end of Chloe's feathers seem singed away. No. We've got to heal those. Sparkles, Fister, and Fireball are just like we're having a great time. <laughs> you want to search for one more Pokemon? See what we can find. Sure, man. I really yeah. want a fucking Numel. That's what I want. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, let's do it. Well. As you guys progress back into this chamber, and I suppose these guys will get out of your way because it's a very tight chamber. Yeah, yeah. Fireball, make like, a, Fireball, make an athletics check to climb out. Speckles will tunnel out. Fister will hover up to you. Strafe <laughs> cannot make this climb. Fireball, and just make an athletics check. He grips Firebolt's tail. Take me with you. <laughs> so please. Are you going to ball Strafe to get him out or ask him to climb out with Firebolt? Can you climb onto Firebolt and kind of help if Firebolt's trying to? Pull if he him, wishes, to yeah. if he wishes to do so, if he wishes to do so, Firebolt, I'm going to need you to make another check. Uh, can Strafe kind of help grab the the stone and help kind of pull him? Up? If he's grabbing the stone, how's he holding on to Firebolt? Uh, I was going to use his legs to hold on, hold on to like his back, and then have him kind of help. I don't think he's that big, boy. <laughs> He's not a Kingler yet, sir. Do you want me to make a strength check for this I one? I would like you to make a dexterity check to not drop the crab. Oh, shit. As you <laughs> vault your way up. Back. <laughs> we have committed to a path we forward, have and I would like to see that dexterity check. Come on, far. Oh. Yeah, I gotta do that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was on one. All right. <laughs> As Firebolt makes it to the top, he looks back and sees Strafe hanging from the cliff. What? You drop me. <laughs> Firebolt will go help him. <laughs> you drop me. Wait for me. I'm cracking. <laughs> Firebolt right, will guys, just go and pick him up. As you guys <laughs> insist on having your horde of Pokemon <laughs> out, um, they will find... Mine are doing well, okay? <laughs> it's his Pokemon that are just like... Heat it up. Shit sucks. We're birds and crabs. What are you doing? This sucks I'm a fire type here. trainer. I'm used to this heat. <laughs> it blows down here. Uh, and as you guys head up into the next set of chambers, I will proceed with a combat that is happening elsewhere mm -hmm. in another timeline. Another timeline. Oh, no, no, no. Cool. Sa same timeline. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not the universe. <laughs> we have a turn order here that starts with Skrull. Okie dokie.
button mashing is real. The button yeah, mashing. Yeah, that's weird. I, I can hear it happening. <laughs> For some reason, like, my plus button is not working. It's just that equal. could be your keyboard could just be slowly dying, which un unfortunate does okay, happen. There we go. I would just use the advanced roller. That's probably so much better. So much better. Ow! Fuck. The advanced roller is nice. I've been using a lot of all your old rolls too, so if you're doing combat, you can just. All right, Skrull, you will land a singular bubble attack. Which, if I were rude, I would make you roll at disadvantage because you're firing into a crowd of friends. But it's a Zubat fight. I'm not going to treat it quite so seriously. He'll nail one. <laughs> we'll say that's why you missed the other two. You almost finished off. Wow. A bat from whichever which which horde did you attack? Uh, closest. Okay, so the same horde that we have been targeting this morning. Yes, that current bat is taken to a reasonably low amount of health. That's a good hit. Yeah. That is a good hit. I am impressed. Um, the bats go second in the turn order. Hans, in the middle of the chaos, will be attacked at advantage as he is fully surrounded. Although Hans will only be attacked by two of the hordes thus far. As one would care more to attack Grimlock than it would him. We're going to roll three d20s. That is going to be a hit from the little horde and a whiff from the other two. The little horde has two remaining bats. That's going to be 2d6 of astonished damage to Grimlock. Mr. Grimlock, that is 8 damage to you, sir. The other bats are ineffective at causing damage. It will be Grimlock's turn after taking his 8 ghost damage. Passing it over to you, sir. Grimlock, a thirteen is enough to do something. A, a five is not, but a thirteen is. Um, and it is certainly plenty to finish off what was left of that with the seven HP. There is now a singular Zubat in this particular environment. And I'm going to confirm with you as you make the move you're making that that is going to give you an attack of opportunity against you. No, you I'm moving out of the mucks. Or the Grimers. Ah. Yeah, the Grimers He's are... Stuff, so I'm trying to move him in and out of the way. Yeah. So I put him over here and then put him back so I can see him better. Got you. Okay. Yeah, I can't see the issue that you are having, so it, it's hard for me to do uh, do that type of fixing for myself. I am going to say you're at 20 health, and you did one bat's worth of damage. It's probably going to be all you want to do unless you want to take an attack of opportunity, so we'll flip over to Nepo, who can make an attempt at something. What are you going to do, Nepo? Oh, right. Uh, da, da, da. Switch, switch the token. You know what I'm always doing. Come on, man. I will never assume what you are doing. Mr. Nepo, it takes more than 8 to hit, but 18 is enough. That is a D10, I believe. It's a 
they begin the process of clearing out tokens here. Whoops, that's a mistake. That is a mistake. You are not quite that strong yet. <laughs> uh, so that's a five. Okay. A five point hit, I'm assuming, to the bat in front of you. Yep. And what attack did you use? Double kick. All right, so it's going to be half of it. That is fighting type damage. You have taken uh, two points of damage from this bat, which will move us to Hans's turn. All right, little Hans, what are you up to? Um... You are currently in a precarious situation. I guess I might as well shoot an ember at this guy. So be it. Make an attempt at it. Sweet! So how much damage did your ember do? It did quite a bit. Quite a bit indeed. Alright. So, 27 damage to uh, which individual? The solo individual or another group? Yeah. Okay. This one. The final bat in that group completely eliminated. Making it Grimer's turn. Grimer, what's your plan of attack? Well, come is going to pound town. Nice. That is a fascinating turn of phrase that you've just used there. <laughs> it was on purpose. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Question is: Is he successful at going to pound town? <laughs> we'll find out. Ah, uh, shit. Probably not. Let's find out. 12 uh, on what? On this cluster in front of him? I, I do need yes. you guys to start telling me what you're doing before you do it. Um, yes. And, okay, so what did, you, what did you use? Because that is enough to hit. That is a pound. A... Alright, a pound is a melee move, which will force you to be here. So nine damage. Nine points of damage to the bat in front of him. Uh, nine points of normal damage, if I'm not mistaken? Correct. Fantastic. A uh, well, it's, a, it's a melee... Oh, actually, it doesn't matter because Zubat's flying, so... Also, that's uh, his, his melee thing is if he gets hit by a melee move. Rather than if he does a melee move. Uh, no, Grimer says poison touch on melee attacks made by this poison uh, on melee attacks made by this Pokemon. Roll a d10 on a hit. Uh, okay, that is not the move. Okay, that's not the ability I thought we were talking about. Then, fantastic. Um, uh, it doesn't matter because so that's immune. <laughs> yes, that is a poison type, unfortunately. Um, so we are. Oh shit! No. Uh, I forget Nidoran's ability. Yeah. Rivalry. It adds proficiency bonus to damage when attacking a Pokemon of the same type. Indeed. That would have been helpful. Next time. Don't worry, I've done that a lot in the past. Yeah, I've been forgetting that Rage was a thing. <laughs> yeah. I just forgot to add this. Plus. So, we're looking for... 
a Zubat turn or a, um, a blaze, rather, I should say. Rather, not a Zubat turn so much as we're looking for a Zoolander turn. Who is a Zubat? There are a lot of Zubats on screen, though, so it's not specific enough. Uh, I'm going to have a Zubat swoop in for a bite. For a bite. All right. Um, sure. That'll do it. Yes, it will. There are two P's in Hoppin. So it's 2D8. Okay. So that's eight points of damage, which will finish the bat that is in front of you, uh, reducing this group to just four. Very nice, sir. And with that pro progress made, we loop back up to Mr. Scrub at the top of the turn order. You guys are whittling away at the bats. I am already totally prepared for this to be my total clusterfuck. Oh, no. I'm looking for a scrap move from you, Zubat Boy. Oh, right. Uh, da -da -da. Mr. Skrelp has hit three attacks. And for 12 points of damage. Like that, like 18. Redundantly 18 as he manages to kill a bat with either of those totals. Bringing that down to three. And that makes it the bat. The Batman. Um, we roll. Do we want to do that, man? All right, now there's not two die twenty. The bats are not uh, coherent at the moment. They do not attack back, which will move us to Grimlock's turn. Yeah. Okay. Maps. Oh, we got that is going to be eighteen to hit, which is sufficient, and a resounding ten points of damage, which would be a very good hit to one of the bats of this group, which is going to move us to Nepo again. Yay! Mr. Nepo, you have hit both of your kicks this time. Ooh! We like that. That never happens. Indeed. Christ almighty. Fucking fucked up that shit again. Um, a resounding... Uh, Nipo, you are not currently in melee range of anything. I don't know what you were just trying to attack. Oh. Went to... Moving to melee range. And a 
attack hoops. The Zubat? Yes, that is not very descriptive. You have options. Is that working? Is that... It's the lower three. health one. Okay. That helps a little bit. Knowing which of... Whoa, what the shit? That onyx is, like, stuck on my screen. I can't get rid of it. What the fuck? Reload. You, uh... Zuba voice, how much damage did that do? I lost it on my screen. You did, uh, 14 points, which is 7 points. You have killed the damaged bat. Leaving that group with just 3 remaining. As they whittle down. And Hans can take a turn. Yes, I'll burn that one. Uh, oh, plus four. You will do a 20 to hit and 13. The northmost or uppermost group will lose an additional bat. And if that is the end of your turn, we move to Grimer again. Why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> okay. Very nice. I am going to do something different. I love it. What are you doing differently? I... I'm going to bite. Sure. Go ahead and bite for me, then. Let's see what you do. Oh, actually, uh, sorry. I should be adding stab to that. Yeah, I just added plus one. So that's a... Uh, 15, uh, 15 is plenty. Um... 2d8. Wait, really? Nothing I did update? Oh my god. Yeah, that's enough um, to hurt another bat. One more bat remaining in that group. And Zoolander, <laughs> it's your turn, buddy. Boy, that felt great. Hunter is dying. Yep. All right. I will. Oh, I only wish. Wow, the dark. And once again, Zeobat's klutzy nature. Klutzy oh, nature. You kl klutzy bastard. Skrelp, bring us home, buddy. Oh, poor Skrelp. He has to carry my team. He does. That do oh it. my goodness. Two two hits, one crit. You did not factor the crit. Oh. Oh well. As it is right now, that will not be enough in either case. The crit would be an additional eight, which will make it enough. That is why it is important. I will choose not to be the type to ignore it because you didn't factor it and kill that bat. And we will move on to Mr. Bat, who is the last of his kind. Last swarm. Yikes. The last one to hit. This group of bats would have been, I think, Grimlock. Oh, Mr. Grimlock. Their crit is just going to give them one additional die compared to how many bats are remaining. That's going to be four. That is 13 damage to you, Sir Grimlock. And that makes it the bats turns over. So Grimlock, it is your turn for retaliation. Okay. 
Was that poison or ghost? It was ghost. They are spamming the same move over and over again because I don't have, uh, yeah, I don't have anything for all of them. Mass combat strategies. Although it seems he is unable to strike at the moment. Nepo, how about you, sir? Yeah, not the usual. Your PowerPoints on that move are getting torn Oops. up on this fight. Yeah. That's one hit. You keeping track of those? Yep. Good. Good, good, good. That is such a hard name to say. Yeah, what was that? It was... 2010. Mm-hmm. Okay, seven damage. Seven damage it is. Which brings us down to Mr. Hans. Shouldn't be half. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, you are. You're correct. That should be half. Um, a resounding three. A resounding three points of kidney damage. Brings us to a turn for Hans. How will you use your turn, Hans? Huh? You will use it to do a massive ember, it seems. Uh oh. Someone has left and come back. Kumst has decided to check out and return. Uh, as an additional bat is fried. Completely and utterly. We now await a, a grammar turn. I think that was just reading himself. Anyways, uh. Oh, God damn it. Well, that's a mess. Sure is, buddy. Sure is. How about you, Mr. Zoolander? Can you round us off here? Does Zubat ever round us off? He does struggle with it. His end game's not the best, is it? Nope. Uh, once more with a bite. Okay, as usual. Nope. Yeah, his end game is real bad. Real bad indeed. All right. Big, big fucking surprise. Skrelp, can you round it off for us? I'm sure the lava group is dying to see themselves burned to death. Hey. <laughs> oh, there's one hit. That is two hits for me, sir. Oh, okay. And definitely reroll on that. Give it a shot. Better. That will kill another bat, leaving us with just one more as the final bat. We'll take a moment to attempt to astonish Nepo. We'll succeed. And we'll deal Nepo a resounding one point of damage. <laughs> Oh no! Not Nepo! Enjoy. Enjoy that. It's a little, it's a last middle finger from a bat that cannot give you a proper one. Uh, whose turn is it now? Uh, Grimlocks. All right, Grimlock, that's a hit. Can you bring us home? Uh, 
Well, let's see here. Sure can, sir, as the final bat is snatched out of the air by Grimlock. We are out, out of combat. My official way of saying there's no fuckery about to happen. <laughs> um, and as I distribute XP and give you guys a moment to discuss what it was you will do next with each other, I am going to go ahead and uh, bring us back to the lava folks who can start telling me what it is they're up to as I distribute XP. It's going to take Zoolander forever to evolve at this point because <laughs> he's not doing any Very bad job, yeah. He'll get there. He'll get there. So, starting with Miss Kennedy, let's have some information from you. What is it you would like to do? Um, I basically just want to check out every single room there is to be discovered that I have access to. So that starting is... off with this, <laughs> so basically going into this last remaining room. <laughs> I, I see. I support that decision. I'm going to ask you what it is you wish to do in that room. I, I wish to investigate and look for fire Pokemon. Fire Pokemon in particular is always a fun thing to try and find. Um, and how is it you would like to investigate? Which of your many skills are you interested in attempting here? Um, I, I want to investigate uh, the lava and also other hot spots um, in this in this little this little place. Investigate the lava for me. That's a From safe distance. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you. Notice that this particular pool of lava is in fact recessed down into a little pool. You do not dare investigate any closer without risk falling in. It's exactly. fine. Man, I wish I had Biggie in out here to lose some fucking weight. Turn it off real good. So rude. Um, you know what you'd have fried pigeon has, Gordon I, I, I has another idea. Okay. Since that one did not succeed, I'm gonna uh -huh. have Firebolt shoot one of his classic Firebolts into the center, almost like in an arena type fashion. I'm trying of to the, uh, challenge whatever other uh, fire type into the lava. Okay. Just into the Our center of this room. Therefore, oh, the it is visible to room. everything around. <laughs> into the center of the room. So, like, up here, where, where he I, is currently. <laughs> I understand what it is you wish to do. I would like you to roll the damage of that attack. Okay. Is that with modifiers or no? Yeah, just a flat. What, what you would roll in combat, I want you to roll. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to see how good of a challenge he issues so I can determine what answers the challenge. Okay. Give me one second. So that's for three. So it's just seven. Okay. It does okay. 16. 16 out of a possible, let's see what the possible total is, 16 plus 7. The total possible there is a 23, so 16 out of 23. Okay. He answered, so he offers a fairly good challenge to any creatures capable of accepting that challenge. Kendra, roll me a d8. <laughs> Nice. What has accepted your challenge? If something has accepted. And you may or may not be pleased with what has accepted your challenge. We should find out. <laughs> I just like to point out, Kendra, the first thing Kendra did was look into lava. And then had Firebolt challenge someone by using a fire blast. Tyler yeah. was still behind her. He just hears a giant boom in this room and he's like, oh god. <laughs> you're very, you're very aggro. 
crabbies up front like what the fuck is that? <laughs> he's like why do i have to be in front it's already hot enough stop shooting more right. fire. <laughs> next to the boulder that you implode with a with a fire bolt will roll out a living specimen oh. and in fact two of these creatures emerge two of them oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> And they had both clunk their bigger arms together in an acknowledgement that Firebolt has issued a formal challenge. And Firebolt, as your wording implies, you're going to be asked to roll into turn order versus these two for at least one turn before anyone can help you. Fuck. <laughs> He's like, this is not what I was looking for. <laughs> I still go first! <laughs> you do, you still go first. Somehow. Go ahead then. Alright. Hunter, I need you to make me a deck save. Okay. Two of them or one of them? Both. With this what? radius, you need both. Both. Okay. Two dexterity saves from giant rocks that have no bonus to their dexterity coming right up. <laughs> Need to be a 14. They did not. Sweet. <laughs> you take full brunt damage on a dragon rage, my friend. That would be wonderful to know what your full brunt damage implies. So go ahead and roll it. I'm working on it. Just Let's find out how much the full brunt damage takes 23 is. damage. Both of them takes 23 damage. That is a lovely amount of damage. What a good start to a combat here. And it is dragon type damage, which is of course not easy to resist. Not easy to resist. Um, very few things are capable. Um, Mr. Firebolt, in response to your attack, in an acknowledgement of your attack, they both initiate a rollout attack. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's find out what happens, shall we? I'm just going to roll this twice. Whoop. One of them will whiff. The other will whiff. land true. This is going to be a D8 plus 5 rocky damage. Which, mind you, Fireball, to you is double. Mm -hmm. 14 damage to you, Mr. Fireball. And as that turn order ends, Kendra now has a moment of intervention as six seconds have passed. Uh, I'll just have Twister go on this side. But he will not engage yet. Tazzle, at this point, you have clogged the tunnel with your Pokemon, but you hear massive blows happening in front of you. All right, Kendra will move over here next to Smeckles, so he is able to get out if he wishes. So he's the first one that's going to be like, what the fuck is going on? Friends are fighting, and she's going to fly around over here. Let's see. Hunter, I need you to do another deck save, please. Beating a 14. Beating a 14, you say, huh? I will do so in just a moment. Um, two deck saves will look like this. Hey, uh, question, Fireball. Did yeah. you just use... Who did you center that attack on? Was it this Graveler or this one? This one. <laughs> This one? Okay. What's the description of Dragon Rage say? You know, that, that's a good question. Give me a moment. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let me look for you two. Because if this is what I think is about to... Ah! In your current situation, you must choose a Graveler. It's five feet wide. Yeah, which is one square. 
There is no linear path along one square that hits both of these. Hundred foot. Oh well, god damn it! <laughs> and I should warn you: if you choose this one, half damage. If you choose this one, you're gonna hit Mister Fister. <laughs> tackle him out of the way. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> and she's gonna miss her. Oh, she good. She's gonna miss her directly president. through him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she phases directly through him. Uh, Mr. President, no. <laughs> I don't have gust. I will do the one in front of me, and hopefully he will get pushed back to some. Your intention is to push him back. While also doing damage. <laughs> He's up in my grill, man. <laughs> Roll the damage for me, and then we will address the desire to push. Okay. 19. So he will take half of that, which is going to be nine dragon damage, because he passed this check. And I will ask you, Firebolt, to make a strength check. Let's do a contested strength check. I'm going to roll a d20 plus four for my strength, and you roll your strength. <laughs> and whoever rolls higher will get pushed. Firebolt. You grapple with this graveler creature and attempt to push him. He catches your arms with the two little arms and using his enormous larger arms. Fireball, you are now dangling over the lava. Mm. <laughs> as he holds you hostage. Ah! <laughs> your move. <laughs> you, Azul, your move you will, is correct <laughs> Azul, you will approach the room and from your perspective what you can see is Strafe and Greywind behind an enormous boulder holding Firebolt over a pool of magma yeah, um, do with that information what you will <laughs> Hunter so, can I make an acrobatics check what is it you wish to do with your acrobatics check so he's being dangled over the lava, right? He Can is. I? Mm. <laughs> Fuck! How do I describe this? Carefully about what you're about to suggest. <laughs> Can I? Re Can Firebolt reach the ledge? If he was not being held away from it by force, yes. Damn. Because <laughs> I wanted to do one of those flipping maneuvers, like kind of one of those front front flips. And then have... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I see what it is you want him to do. I will tell you, he will need to break free of the iron grasp he is being held in to do so. <laughs> so he will first need to make a strength check to break free. Okay. Strength check. Nope. <laughs> Fuck. As he squirms and tries very hard, you're like, you're like, fireball, do the, do the thing, do the, do the flip. And he's like, yeah, yeah, can't do it. <laughs> do the flip. Do the flip and flips. As he wiggles and worms his way and just does not escape. Hmm. That's going to be kind of. More Another peril idea. has been achieved. Another idea. Mm -hmm. Don't know if I'm allowed to do this. I'm gonna ask it anyway. Do it. Ask it. Can I use a fire blast? I don't. I don't know how to make a. He circle. doesn't know fire blast, does he? Yes, he does. He knows flame burst, I believe. Flame burst, whatever. <laughs> they are different. They are starkly different things. I thought um, they were the same thing. <laughs> they are not. If he uses a fire blast, Strafe is going to be cooked like a freaking red lobster over here. Um, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to click things, and I don't know how to make the circle. Just click and hold. Left click. Yeah. So you have to have the the select tool, the little little cursor make open, the... and then you just click and hold. So there's the move tool, okay. and then, yeah, there you go. You got it. Okay. So my idea, right? Gonna have him use, f like, like, look over his shoulder, basically. Okay. So, like, over okay. here. Okay. okay. He's gonna shoot a fire blast over here. And that will send him, like, flying over here. 
in this direction. He's going to try to propulse himself backwards back yes. onto land. I see. <laughs> I am going to need Firebolt. To like a firebender from Avatar. <laughs> I'm going to need Firebolt. Remember that he is in the grip of a creature. He's going to essentially have to blow hard enough to spin this creature around. Yes. <laughs> I need Fireball to roll the damage of his flame burst attack. Well, thank God I didn't have straight vice grip fucking Graveler's arm. Because he'd be fucking whipped. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is worth noting that while we've been talking, I have cleaned up the token list. So many of your tokens are going to be broken. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Mr. Firebolt, as you blow your very hardest, you succeed in doing six points of damage to the Graveler. You're playing music, no, you're not playing music. And his grip loosens. Ooh. As Can I Firebolt try the acrobatic things now? <laughs> begins to slip. One of the yeah. fingers, one of the fingers of the Graveler is melted off, and he begins to slip. Can I vice grip? Which arm is that? The right will be the right one or the left one. Both. I, he has four yeah, arms. He's, he's holding him with. He's holding him with two arms. Yeah. And can I, like, break like you know, make it less than its grip. Yeah, no, don't break it. I'm ding being dangled over lava, dude. Yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead. You you have initiated such a request. Make an attack on this graveler using vice grip. If you do more. Then a quarter of his remaining health, I will say you snap the arm off. The, yeah. Oh, good. Because the reason why don't do that. Is you so go full. If he's holding with two hands and one arm's broken, and you fire blasts away, it's going to have more of an easier propulsion because he's going to have less resistance. Well, he has already or attempted the propulsion. So go ahead, strafe, and attempt a vice grip. See if you can hit the targeted limb. Or I could die. Do I get, uh, on advantage on this? It, it'll be okay, I can I promise you. <laughs> He's a fire type, so lava shouldn't hurt him that much. That's but. not, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not, uh, not kosher for a firebolt in particular. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That'll hit. He can take heat, not direct contact with lava. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> He's not a slugma. Good news. That halves to four. Yeah, you did not, not snap his arm off, but you have weakened his grip enough that his lower, weaker arm has completely let go of Firebolt, who is now dangling by a melting hand as he slips from the grasp of the Graveler. Kendra, and what do you yell to your poor friend? You have time to make one command. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's grab, now been ungrappled. Grab the wall! I mean, take <laughs> Grab the wall. All right, which of Firebolt's skills is he going to attempt to grab the wall with? Let me uh, take a look at that. <laughs> uh, I, real quick, as, as you guys, as this is a stressful situation, I will say, I see no less than four ways for Firebolt to guaranteed survive this situation. I encourage you to take a moment to think before you act, as you have time for exactly one attempt. If you choose a roll and it fails, we are in a bad way. Can I have Speckles go like poke her head out through this wall here and use Sand Tomb on the lava underneath where Firebolt is currently standing? You may. Speckles has a burrowing speed, which is fast enough to get to that point in one turn, and knows Sand Tomb very well. Speckles oh, can go ahead that. roll the damage of Sand Tomb to see how big the landing pad you create is. Sand Tomb doesn't have damage. Sand, uh, yes, it's, it is. It's a, a save. It is a, yeah, it's a save to hit. It has damage here. I learned that oh, hard way. Fuck's sake! <laughs> One second. <laughs> God damn it. It has no dice to hit. Ouch. 
Okay. Don't you laugh at me, that fucking hurt. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I'm scared. <laughs> so, I'm waiting for something from Speckles. I'm trying to find Speckles is totally not. <laughs> Would you like Wall some help finding rocks. the damage? The lava? Uh, it says 1d10. I'll just roll it. So, go no. ahead and roll a d10 with whatever modifier Speckles has. 1d10. Oh, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> you create a four foot landing pad in the lava of safety. Firebolt, are you allowing yourself to fall to this pad, or are you going to attempt to catch yourself and use the pad as a resort? Uh, I will do... I will try um, and still grip the wall, but if he fails anyway, he'll just get to Which the pad. Which of his skills will he use to grip the wall? Uh, he will use his athletics. Make that check for me. Because acrobatics doesn't make any sense. I feel like this is a good moment for a terrifying enemy appears. I hear the fucking, like, Count Dracula music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> this is the music that plays the first time you fight one of the creation trio uh firebolt catches himself by digging his claws into the wall he falls only a few feet down the side as you look down you will see spec fireball as you look down kendra you're too far away to see this. uh fireball as you look down you will see speckles has created a small platform underneath of you but it is made of soft soil and is essentially flowing in the lava as if it were water How far now is Fireball? Fireball has like, fallen just a few feet. Um, maybe get the there Graveler out of the way! <laughs> there is a Graveler between you and him. So he's not and at this point, me, correct? He's not being held, now he's just kind of sliding? Uh, he is holding himself to the wall as Graveler's, to not fall and die. Graveler's out in the open? Yes. Okay. Can I move Greywind here? Yes. I'm gonna have... Greywind, can you roll me some initiative to see where in the turn order you're going to go? Yes. Uh... Dracula-esque music. That's fantastic. You ruined it, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> it is very... It's just... It's true. It's, it's true. so accurate. It's just like... <laughs> uh... What do you want from me, dude? Actually, I, I, will, I will be replacing that track. Uh, it's <laughs> 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 Um, um for but for now it will do. Attack, I actually want to throw a Pokeball at that Graveler. In place oh. of Greywind's attack, although Greywind has already attempted and whiffed his attack, so I believe you have used his turn, sir. Oh no, that was just... Greywind uh, hasn't moved. That was, that was his initiative. initiative order, yeah. Okay, so what would you like to do? It is worth knowing that Strafe and the Turner is up now. Yeah, I'll throw a... I'll throw... I'll attempt to throw a Pokeball at him. At that, uh, Graveler. Make the attempt... I will support. An animal handling check is required, sir. Uh, make that two. Wow, 13. The Graveler swats your Pokeball into the magma to never be seen again. Kendra, I don't have any Pokeballs left, so... Uh... Wait, wait, did you do that on Advantage? He oh, did, that's why there were two yeah. of them. He failed both times. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, so that would be Strafe's turn. And that uses Strafe's turn. All right, Greywind. So Greywind what are you going to try? Greywind's going to... I don't know if I want to bite him, bite a rock, but... He'll bite a rock. That's what he'll do. All right, I'll go plus, just make sure it's plus one. Plus three, eight. There we go. Just universally agree that that is better. That is better stress music. <laughs> oh. Greywind. That would be advantage, but I'm not sure. Uh, 
One crit. One crit, sir. Roll it. You just obliterated that fucking graveler. <laughs> Depending on what he did, he may have. Graven, what did you use? That thing better not fucking explode, Tazzle. <laughs> Be a plus whatever. That is, yeah, you did. You added plus 10. So that is Dazzle. 16 dark damage. As the Graveler survives the hit, Fireball oh, on your 30. turn. <laughs> Fireball on your turn. No, that wasn't even a, that wasn't even a sturdy proc. He didn't do enough damage to proc sturdy. Oh, Actually, God. wait, it's, oh, it's half of your current HP. You did proc. Oh, thank you for reading me. <laughs> Fuck you! God damn it! <laughs> that is eight damage. As he halves it. What just happened? <laughs> he proc sturdy, which halves the damage he did because he did too much damage in one hit. Yeah, if it takes him below their half health or whatever. They take no, if it does more than half of his remaining HP, he gets a fifty percent chance to have the damage. Right, mm-hmm. Firebolt, on your turn, you can't really do much to attack, so you're in dangerous peril. What are you going to try as you are three to four feet down a cliff? Uh, Chloe hasn't actually done anything. I was going to have her help out. But... Chloe is not in initiative if you'd like to add her. Uh, can, Kendra, can Kendra see Firebolt right now? No. What if I like step in the same square as Strife? Stri Strife. By the rules of D&D, you may not. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you may not end your turn there. At least. You you may briefly occupy that space, but you may not end your turn there to do any actions. Uh... It is worth noting. Taz, so as this combat progresses, would you make me a perception check? You through the through the combat that you are paying attention to, you are still perceptive enough to realize Kendra, with no access to the cliff that Firebolt recently fell off, and no knowledge of if your boy is okay. Tells you notice under extreme emotional duress a very stark change in eye color. With, with Kendra, correct. And with that, would you like to roll Chloe into uh, initiative? Kendra, to your perspective, there is no way to know if Firebolt is a burning crisp or hanging from the cliff. Uh, can I roll speckles into initiative? Absolutely. Oh my thing. Four. Chloe <laughs> <laughs> and Grey would both have no don't have any <laughs> pictures. <laughs> speckles will be going last. Okay. Which means, uh, Chloe, you don't get to play in the turn that you entered an initiative, but um, Firebolt, it's your turn, sir. What do you want to try? You going to try to climb out? You can try. Uh, well, he can't go up the way he came because there's a fucking grammar there. So <laughs> there is a grammar there. There, there. He'll just get be back down. Um, so he's he's going to try and uh, shimmy shimmy. <laughs> Which uh, skill check would he like to try? Uh, he'll do athletics. Make an attempt, Firebolt, at athletics before he moves, because this could be catastrophic should he fail. Firebolt, you make an attempt to, to lunge over to a new space to climb up, and you lose another four feet of height. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it is getting hot, but you are farther down the cliff than you ever were. God damn it. <laughs> Though still attached. Um, Kendra, make a perception check. I got an idea, okay. but it's whenever um, my turn comes up. Chloe's turn comes up. Chloe does not get to play in the turn she entered initiative. Right. I'll wait till whenever she comes up. Kendra, can you make a perception uh, check? Yeah. Give me one second. Just trying to. The 
Worst possible outcome here is something between the numbers 10 and 15. Oh, fuck. All right. You hear nothing. That works, too. You hear nothing. And Kendra's panicking, basically. Kendra is under extreme emotional duress. As her evolved boy is hanging, presumably, from the cliff, or perhaps dead entirely. There is no way for you to know until you wrap up combat with these Gravelers. Speaking of Gravelers, hey Strafe! Yeah. You pinched the arm off a Graveler. Fuck you, Graveler. That upset him dearly. God damn it, AC. <laughs> <laughs> that upset him dearly. Um, you will be taking a rollout attack for 13 rock damage. So, straight down for the count. Out you go, sir. The other Graveler looks at you, Greywind. He goes, hey, look. A target. This is a target-rich environment. You're all gonna die. And here we go. Did Strafe just get KO'd? So no, Strafe just took eight rock damage. Strafe, uh, well, well, yeah, sorry, I thought you meant Grey Wind. Yeah, Strafe is down. Strafe got hit by one of those help. He took that you, you missed that. I guess you, you must have looked away for a minute, Kennedy, because he had I looked away down. for two seconds, and I just looked oh. back, and the fucking crab is gone. Oh, yeah, the crab, <laughs> the crab is done for, and Grey Wind just took eight damage. <laughs> Well, and uh, Speckles will take this spot Speckles, of strafe, then. Speckles, you may not play on the turn you were added to initiative. What? what is... I know. As As you entered I'm initiative not... in combat. <laughs> and as per we've been playing it, until you actually <laughs> get your turn, you are not active. Grey Winds, you have been smacked. Smack a hoe. <laughs> Um, Push him into the lava. <laughs> I want revenge. Uh, Kendra, can you make me? Kendra, can you make me a charisma saving throw? That was a joke. I was saying that out of character, Hunter. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not for the particular comment. It is for your <laughs> special condition because it's progressing. This is character development, goddamn you! <laughs> What'd you say, charisma? Yes, charisma, please. <laughs> Fuck. With utter lack of control for emotional trauma, for the first instance of this condition you've observed, Tazel. The eyes begin to have some incandescence to them. They are not just tinted orange, they are emitting the color orange. Oh, God. I am not at my full fury. <laughs> Kendra, you are beginning to truly believe that Firebolt may be dead, as he has not yet resurfaced. Greywind, I am waiting for something from you, sir. Oh. All right. Greywind is going to. Kendra, I expect you I react in character Pokemon. based on that information. <laughs> Yeah, Kendra, they're not catch these fuckers, but I don't have any pokeballs left. Catch, back catch them! I yeah, I can I can try and catch uh, one of them. Are we sacrificing Grey Wind's turn to attempt a catch maneuver. Yeah, on the gravel in front of me again. All right, well, all right, Kendra, he, are you giving Tazzle a pokeball? The... Yeah, yeah. She wants to assist I'll get Tazzle a pokeball. All right, Tazzle, you have been gifted a pokeball. Got two fifteens. <laughs> How would you like it if I told you that this Pokeball gets swatted into the lava? By this one? Mm-hmm. Well... 15 plus 7? Mm-hmm. Don't throw that, bitch. <laughs> it is far too late as a Pokeball sizzles and pops and is gone for good. Hunter, can I shift here? You may. Am I allowed? You can will I look block. over the edge? So that was Kendra throwing the ball, right? You threw the ball. You may make a perception check. That was Kendra throwing it, but you chose to sacrifice Greywind's turn for it. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. 
You you chose to use Kendra's modifier, essentially, is what that just was. Um, <laughs> we have the same modifier. Uh, seven. Kendra, as you peer down in the spot for which you saw your boy fall, he is not there. I probably do with that information what you will, as it is Firebolt's turn. I'm too far back to see him. You are also um, not blocked by Kendra. Right. Well, before she walked into the way, I couldn't see him past that. No, because he's down off of the edge. Okay. Hunter, Hunter, so I don't see like any claw marks of him shifting or anything. You know what? That is a great world building. You see the spots where his claws were, and he is no longer filling them. You see that there was a moment where he let go. Okay, so she she knows something's up. She's like. He wouldn't just let go like that. Um, Taz will probably move up and look with her. I'm not going to stand on you, but... I don't know how I would use, use acrobatics. Damn it! It's <laughs> my highest thing. Uh, fuck! <laughs> can I move up just to see if I can see him? If I move up, like, next to her. Even I'm kind of in her and since it has been a minute, let's return to the group other. God for a damn while. it! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Was Chloe's turn coming up? Soon. <laughs> All right, Mister Heinrich, you have cleared a group of bats. At the request of Zubat Boy, your obligation fulfilled. XP distributed. What is your next move forward? I mean, I guess I'll use medicine on Grimlock. Shutting mm -hmm. everyone. Yep, there is nothing well, you can do for him with these injuries. Yep, right, right. Which leads us to the next question. Post combat, do you have something to say to Zoo Bad Boy? Not really. I mean, we just beat a bunch of bats. Okay. So, without being able to help Grimlock with your aid request to Zubat Boy fulfilled, where is Heinrich's next move forward? Might as well see if there's anything around here worth catching. All right. And which skill did you employ? Which of your skills did you employ, Mr. Heinrich? Survival it is. Okay. Heinrich, you notice that the air in this particular chamber is far more frigid than any of the chambers you have been in thus far. You have climbed more elevation than you realized in your effort to get up this mountain. And the chamber here seems to be holding on, on to some of those blasts of cold wind knowing that information and rounding the corner and looking your way down these stairs you will spot a creature 
which I do not have a uh, token of yet, so I have to go uh, make one real quick. Um, now that I'm doing tokens the correct way. It is a fluffy little pig. It seems to be snorting its way around on the ground. I will drag it out right now. Yeah, it is uh, It is hanging out around the entrance to this side. For those of you that recognize this particular creature. Yeah, I don't want it. He will, oblivious in his nature, remain there. Just snorting about. Seeming like truffling through the ground looking for Something. What you cannot tell, but something. And he may be the main attraction that you notice by following those bursts of cold air. Unless you wish to follow them further. I guess I'll follow them. Which would mean to exit here. All right. Sure. The little fluffy creature will not be hostile to you. It's just going to hang out. It kind of snuffles in your direction. It knows you're there. It doesn't really care. It would wave if it could. Instead, it just kind of sniffs in your direction. Zubat boy, you see Heinrich head out in a direction. Do you pursue? Do you comment? Or do you have your own initiative? Yeah, I'll follow along. Okay. And the two of you will be exiting this chamber into a new... The tokens work as well right now. Um, you are fine. You're not at full health, but at least you work. I think you were at 30 or something like that. Sounds right. And then... I don't know who else you had out, but I'll let you worry about it as you see fit. Um, all right, you guys head back inside. You still feel the cold chills coming in from that direction, which you are now back in the dark, dank cave that you came from. So what is it that you're hoping for in this dark, dank cave? I... Uh, I wanted to check out that uh, the other hole. The other hole? Sure! You head over to the other side, then. It is an impressive sized hole. <laughs> okay. It just goes down, down, down. Huh? Check it out, I guess. There is a safer and a more rapid way to to descend this particular hole. Uh, the safer way is essentially a fairly generous set of rock climbing holds. The less safe way is basically a rope that they strung down and you can repel your way down. Hmm. Hey, what if we had an onyx... Uh... Follow this hole. See where it goes. Yes, totally destroy any possibility of humans being able to use it. Good. <laughs> that is a question for Heinrich, because you do not have such a tool. Okay. This is the, so that's so basically this is something you'll need to talk to him about if you wish to talk to him about it. Otherwise, I don't know. I mean, I literally stated a question. So oh, I see. <laughs> In character, you have stated a question. So this is up to you, Heinrich. How you wish to respond to that? No. Okay. So be it. I will use Onyx to get the hell out of this cave, but I will not use Onyx to destroy the cave. <laughs> Also, it's more like Onyx allows me to do these things. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm. That is the relationship that they have at the moment. 
Alright. It's kind of a really shitty, abusive relationship. <laughs> it's it's kind of a reverse of what a normal trainer relationship is, only he's like the trainer. <laughs> he owns you. <laughs> it, it, that's I'm kind of what... Over the head. That's kind of what all uh, your relationships with your Pokemon are. They're really kind of shitty, abusive relationships. <laughs> Hey, I'm actually good to my Pokemon. I treat them nicely. Most of them. Most of them. I mean, I haven't used a lot of them, so I mean, I can't say I've treated them nicely. They kind of just sit around. I suppose neglect is not as bad as direct physical abuse. But we don't really know if they feel neglect. <laughs> Pokeballs we, we will know kind of if you... There is... A lot of lore about the operation of the PC systems, but that is a bridge we will cross when we come to it. Uh, yeah, I will... Professor Oak, he's playing with all the Pokemon because he fucking takes them out of the PC and plays with them. He does. If, if you use Oak's PC, he does. It is canon that he takes your Pokemon and does shit with them. Um, it is canon. Uh, so... Heinrich and Zubat Boy, I suppose you have a few options in front of you. You know that this way leads to the cemetery climb of Mount Coronet. And you know that the other way is a steep hellhole to do as you please. Might as well fucking climb it. What else are we going to do? Okay. So Heinrich okay. votes to climb. Heinrich, do you want to take the quick way or the safe way? I mean, I consider the quick way the climbing and the safe way the rope. Eh, fuck it, I'll climb it. Whatever. Sure. You want to make me a quick athletics check, please, to determine the rate of your descent? Worst thing that happens. Hey, if you roll low climbing. enough, your rate of descent will be the speed of gravity. You said acrobatics. It's a zero. More athletics. There, I can. You can use them interchangeably. Whichever is better. They're both fucking horrible. But one has a plus one. Hey, that plus one can help. Okay, Heinrich. It is not a beginner level climb, but you are managing to descend faster than you would have if you had hooked yourself to the rope and rappelled down. Did you choose to paste the group of you guys? And as you make your descent, we return to the lava-filled caverns where significant emotional duress and combative prowess is happening. We left off looking for something from Mr. Firebolt. No, it was uh, Chloe's turn. Was it Chloe's turn? What did Firebolt attempt to do on his turn? He tried to climb I don't have a, I don't have a note of what he tried to do. Oh, okay. His last turn, he made a jump, and then I offered him a turn, and he has not done anything yet, as far as I see. Well, okay. <laughs> well, now that you've said that you can use acrobatics and athletics interchangeably, <laughs> whichever is better, and uh, the way I consider those two skills, I consider them whichever. I did not know that. I've been using a. He's going to attempt to go up the wall. I will very occasionally ask oh, for one or the other, yes. but only very occasionally will I specifically ask for one or the other. Thank the gods. The old well. All right. Get See, that is the kind wall. of thing we were looking for. <laughs> Firebolt will finally acquire a grip, and he will emerge his head poking up over the cliff in between two gravelers facing away from him. Both of them I'm are going to say, him? Yes, I'm going to say he has used the entirety of his movement for this turn, but not his action with his head poking over. So he doesn't go up fully. He made it to the point where he can now see what's happening. And he will, on his next turn, be able to vault himself over the cliff. But he has regained all of the height he lost through falling and is now back at the top. Nice. 
Okay. Well, it's not my turn now, so. <laughs> Mr. Firebolt. Uh, all right, Chloe, this is your first turn in the initiative. Welcome. All right. Um, <laughs> thank God. Uh, do you want me to still help? Uh, it's going to help Firebolt, but you think he's good for now? Yeah, uh, I think you, he's good you guys, for now. You guys have no idea. The two of you have not uh, seen hide or hair of Firebolt yet. <laughs> not that he has any hair to begin with, but... Do what you feel Chloe would do. <laughs> Chloe would probably, at this some point, Chloe would have, knowing what was happening in general, would have at least used a little bit of movement to get to an angle to see <clears throat> what Firebolt was doing. And notice As Chloe hovers above the lava pool... She will see a firebolt who has just regained his footing near the top of the cliff. Okay, good. And can choose to do something. She will actually come. Uh, she should... just right there. She's going to. <clears throat> um. Rock smash the grappler directly. She's rock smashing which grappler? Um, this one. This one? Yes. Do it. Get my Do it. Set my thing so I can it. Do it. Advantage. Do it. Since she evolved, yeah, she did three. we are waiting so for a damage changed. roll. I forgot it changed when she evolved. The mortal peril has ended now. This is a little less interesting. <laughs> yeah, put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put uh, regular battle music on. Oh, that's good too. Yes, yeah, so she got. Five fighting damage. Chloe, you have done ten fighting damage. And Graveler, you have drawn both Graveler's attention and his ire. Which for us to be directly about, like... No, any adjacent square is melee range. And for Chloe, it doesn't ma For Chloe, the geometry of this map is less important because she can fly. I have not. Been, I have decided not to be a total st stinker about the advantage attacks. Um, I don't know what the rules is written say. I think the rules is written say you have to be directly, like, um, tangential to one another, um, like, not tangential, but um, across, directly across from one another. Um, I think you have to. Yeah, you usually have to form a straight line like a sandwich. But I have not been a total stinker about it, so I'm just going to continue not to be. I don't care that much. Sure I don't care that much. I have been... My general comfort about it is if you have, like, Grey Wind here, then any of these three squares I consider surrounded. Okay. I was actually going to ask that, too, because I'll say if anywhere here, they still technically have to turn around in a way. Yeah, I consider anywhere behind them surrounded. Okay. That works. I'm, I'm, less, I'm less happy to say that, like... I w I'm less happy to say, like, that those two make someone surrounded. I still have been allowing it if people choose to use it that way, but it, I'm less happy with that ruling. Um, uh, anyway, with that said, you have accomplished 10 damage, and you have drawn the ire of the Gravelers, who know really just one thing. It's their bread and butter. Oh, fantastic. Chloe. 
Chloe, my dear. This is gonna hurt. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's hit this twice in a row, by the way. Chloe, that's 20 points of damage to you, dear. Yes, rock damage. And as I move back to the other Graveler, who did not hit his previous rollout, unfortunately. Um, does he hit this one? Mr. Greywind, prepare to take damage. Your team is getting fucked. This th <laughs> that Everyone's is getting points. fucked. That is 10 points of rock damage, sir. What the hell did she have? 27? And then she lost... What was it? 20. She has 7 remaining HP. There you go. Thank you. And Greywind ah. loses 10. Alright, Greywind, bite this fucking... Con congratulations. This makes it Speckle's turn. Yes! <laughs> Speckles is gonna oh. move over here. <laughs> okay, Speckles burrows. She burrows over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's going to proceed Can to really attempt to that? bite this, uh, wow. this bitch in front of her. Popping her head out of the, the ground. Let's see it. Ignore that, that it's Firebolt. It's supposed to be Speckles. What's the, what's the plus to Firebolt? What's the plus to this attack, Speckles? Uh, there is none. <laughs> then you do not hit. No. Fuck. <laughs> which will, which, as she tries to take a chunk out of one of these gravels, like, it's all stone. Why is it all stone? <laughs> all right, Grey Wind, you're up. No, I'm not even gonna bother at this point. How about the one that's in between, uh, Karen and Chloe? Advantage. Give it a shot. Fourteen is not enough. Once again, as you bite down on one of these gravelers, it is just rock. Hurt your teeth. All right, Fireball. One final time, sir. Strength check me to hoist yourself onto land once more. Strength? Mm-hmm. Lift your body weight, sir. This is a pull-up. Okay, just double-checking. I spent so much time blasting core, I forgot arms! <laughs> <laughs> he sure right, didn't skip leg day. <laughs> Firebolt returns to the platform. Kendra, an immense sense of relief will fill you as you notice one fiery boy emerge from underneath the cliff. She kind of yeah. just does one of those things where after like running a marathon, she just puts her arms on her thighs and starts breathing heavily. And she's like, oh my. <laughs> Kendra, who's been holding her breath for the last several minutes, is just finally breathing again. Tazzle, it looks like Kendra's having a freaking panic, panic attack. attack or something. Like, keeled over. Because she's coming down off of having a panic attack. <laughs> it's just. Is Firebolt allowed to move now or no? Firebolt used his movement, but he has an action. He has an action. Got it. He's allowed to attack. He's going to attempt to scratch. He's still no scratch. <gasps> Go for it. No. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. It's what? <laughs> that is a tie for enough. Yeah, that's what I thought you need, like... Lovely. <laughs> Seems about right. They have 15 of the armor class. Pretty damn good. That is 1d12. Oof! 14. So, nice. to one of these, that is 7. <laughs> but that is still 7 damage. Big oof. I'm assuming that's sturdy. 
Uh, no, they did not do more than half of his remaining health. Ah. Um, however, Chloe, is your turn. I'm like, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm back. You're mad. <laughs> she's gonna, um, she's gonna, um, f- uh, fuck. What the hell was it? Frog smash again. Where the hell was my last roll for this? Oh, here it is. Let me switch to Chloe. And... Rock smash. Oh, how nice. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. That's... Oh, oh Jesus God. Christ, God. Chloe. Kidding, <laughs> These fucking ones, dude. Hey, pray tell. You just hit a 19 rock smash, yeah? Yes, that does something. <laughs> that hasn't happened in 10,000 years. I will be so kind as to remind you that that move has a secondary effect. And nice. would you read Would you read to the group what your secondary effect is? Um, when I hit a 19 or 20, target gets a minus 1 to AC. So he's now down to 14 AC. They take 4 damage, and he loses a point of AC. Yes, yeah. 4 damage. <laughs> Chunk off some of his armor plating. He's easier to hit. Yep, All right. Remains it while in battle, so it's the whole entire time. Yeah, and then until the combat ends. Correct. All right. The two gravelers. Who has drawn the ire of this one? I believe it to be Firebolt. Yeah. Mr. Fire. Mr. Firebolt, you dodged it. <laughs> He's like no. <laughs> uh, Grey Wind though. Grey Wind, my boy. <laughs> Grewin, I'm so sorry, but this is the second time you've been hit, so have 13 rock damage, my boy. <laughs> Thank God he had one. I know how that feels, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> have 13 rock damage, and I believe Greywind is fainted. He's gonna live All right, that's the end of Greywind. You're up, Firebolt. I love how Tazzle's whole fucking team is gonna die. <laughs> These grapplers that Firebolt pissed off. Like, I don't know if I still want to get there. <laughs> Oh, that. Well, with now, now with Grey Wind out of the way, Hunter, I need you to make a deck save. Fister is still there, too. Hey, De- Fister's way over there. Yeah, he hasn't participated in this combat yet. I believe it's a pass. Yeah, you passed. Okay. But you still take damage. Yeah, I'm half of whatever you roll here. Let's see. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna roll meat beep into this fucking fight. <laughs> so be it. Roll meat beep into the fight. You take half. Twenty one. Dragon damage. Do the thing. Twenty one. Um, it's 21. eleven. It's eleven points or ten. Sorry, ten points of damage, which triggers thirty, which he passes. He takes. Fucking it. <laughs> so he takes fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you sturdy B O sturdy B O P. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> Chloe, your turn. D D D D D D D D D D Higher damage attack, please. You, you can do it. <laughs> These ones. All right. <sighs> Chloe's just gonna do the same thing, and she's gonna attempt to rock smash on this graveler. Uh, let me get this here. Let me switch to Chloe. Thank God. That's enough. <laughs> All right. Could finish him off. Just don't hit one on your fucking damage rolls. How about a two? <laughs> How about a two? Well, that would be six, but it's 30. It is six. Down he goes. Almost no HPs. He's got one hit left in him. And it's their turn. Chloe. All right, Firebolt. You're in his way. Prepare to take a hit, sir. 
Hell yeah. Oh yeah. He's <laughs> like, oh, you're back. Have another. 11, 22 firebolts. And who is in range of this one? Why, if it isn't Speckles. <laughs> Speckles! <laughs> Speckles, no. She's minding her own business. She's just like, hello. All right, Whack-A-Mole, you dived out of the way and didn't get hit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that sound effect? <laughs> it's like a little... <laughs> it's fantastic. I like that. That's pretty good. All right, you know, Speckles is now fucking gnome. Fantastic. <laughs> Speaking of speckles, get no. It's your turn, speckles. Speckles, it's your turn. Speckles, speckles, what can you do again? Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mud slap his ass or something. Nah. <laughs> Don't slap his ass. That's rude. Missed. <laughs> Speckles, you useless bitch. All right, Fireball. It's not her fault that your fucking AC is 15. All right, Fireball. Too. too bad you don't have any Dragon Rages left, Fireball. <laughs> they're, they're lining up. They're excited. <laughs> <laughs> they're lining up for him, and you're running out. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they did that on purpose because they know you're out. I I would never. <laughs> you fucker. Look at him hit I nobody. Hit nobody. <laughs> no mm. enemy. Even though Duo would have been safe. <laughs> and let's take an intermission from this fight. <laughs> oh. Fuck yeah, I was about to do something. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit every time. Uh, okay. <laughs> Too bad. Starting with you, Heinrich. Starting with you, Heinrich, you have made a significant amount of progress climbing down. It feels like you have been climbing for an awfully long time. Yeah, dude. <laughs> As <laughs> you... As you proceed to climb your way down, the, uh, sort of rock climby uh, pseudo wall that has been made here for you. Would you make me a final athletics check for the tail end of your journey? Or acrobatics if you so choose. Um, that will account for the fact that this is quite quite a long climb and you are probably quite tired. <laughs> All right. Much like Zubat Boy, your form is degrading, but you are hanging on to the wall. You will make it to the end without losing your grip entirely. Though I imagine your forearms will be sore in the morning. Zubat Boy, I am looking for a similar check from you. Ah, you're zoom out, you're doing just as poorly as you were when you started. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed at all. You are shaky at best, struggling to hang on to the wall. Okay. But you knowing that you will crush your friend beneath you should you fall, are managing to make it through. After what is going to feel like it's going to feel like you've been climbing for hours, but in reality, it's probably been about a 20 minute trek. But a 20 minute vertical trek is awfully difficult and physically demanding. It is getting very hot. As you feel yourself descend, the heat only increases until you are. Deep enough that we change scenes. You will be plunked one at a time. Hey! 
Alrighty. <laughs> wow, so familiar. Landing over here. The heat down here is nigh unbearable compared to where you just were, especially compared to the cold front that you passed through to get down here. It is awfully, awfully hot. Um, some of your Pokemon care more than others. Uh, and they probably determine whom it is that cares more than whom. But you find yourselves down here. Okay. Uh, as, you get, as you get to the final chunk of this journey, you note that you have to jump off. As the hole opens up into the roof, though the rope extends to the floor, the rock climbing wall sort of ends with a little drop off that you have to jump off. And you are in a chamber. Uh, which skill would you like to use to look for Pokemon? Uh, investigation, I guess. All right, and we are investigating what, sir? Yeah. Uh. Probably more darker p parts of the cave. All right. Dark corner. Uh, you invest, so you stay away from this tunnel, and um, less so, but also this area. Yeah. So really, you'll be searching the room you're in. It's one of the darker, <laughs> one of the darker areas, as there's no torches or anything down here. It is pure natural light. I'm waiting for that investigation check. Woo! Oh, very nice. <laughs> As is with the critical checks. I offer you three choices, sir. I know people love these. Yep. Would you like something terrifying? Something hot? Or something fast. Hmm. Interesting. Something terrifying, something hot, or something fast. Uh, I'll try fast. You would like something fast. Would you roll me a d4? Okay. That Pokemon is going to be one of these. I just have to pull it in because I don't have one of these in my... Uh, I don't have one of these in my, uh, my shit. You will see... A creature emerge from the wall, having just burrowed, seemingly either burrowed or smashed or otherwise delved its way through. Um, son of a bitch. Your entire team will perceive that the area is sort of shaking a little bit as the rock down here is not quite so sturdy, and removing chunks of it to dig through is uh, less than helpful to that overall structure. Um, the fast creature, which just refuses to fucking spawn, um, I... It is not, not quite yet. Not quite. Give me a second. Um, <laughs> you're jumping the gun a little bit. The glitch lag. <laughs> I can't get my 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 fucking thing is so broken. All right, new plan. Fast creature is going to be something different um, than what I planned on putting into the the fucking thing here. Uh, you are going to see 
come barreling out of the wall. Uh, seemingly having been chasing something, whatever it was chasing through these tunnels, a stark white furred creature. As it barrels out of a tunnel, almost rabid, uh, rapidly passing into the tunnel. It just looking around for whatever it was chasing. What? Seemingly almost very upset that it is lost track of its target. Hmm. Looks late for an important date. Looks like it would hurt something. It looks like it wants to hurt something. <laughs> yeah. It does. It very much does. It wants to hurt you. As he's, as he's looking around, he's just like, oh, oh, oh. he's very, very upset. Uh, yeah, good. uh what, what's wrong? What are you looking for? Would you uh, care to make me a quick animal handling? Uh, two, two choices: animal handling or insight. Uh, I'm pretty sure my insight is yeah, it's crap. Uh, so animal handling. They accomplish different things, but we can see what you get. I'm gonna switch you two around. All right. So, Zubat Boy, as you sort of approach it and ask what it's looking for, you don't really. DMAS, do you walk up to it or just get close enough to talk to it, like where you are right now? Just close enough to talk to it, yeah. Okay. You ask it sort of what it's looking for, and it sort of mimes to you. Let's have it make a performance check, actually. This is going to be fucking hilarious. All right. It sort of mimes to you the shape of something like long and like squiggly as it like moves its claws out in sort of a, a line shape and then it uses its two claws to mimic a pair of fangs mm, interesting well let's see if uh see if you can we can help you find it uh it points back behind itself to the tunnel that it was just in and it kind of like slams one of its fists down on its other hand. I don't remember writing this song. Damn. It's in that. It's in that tunnel. Uh, he came out a little. He came out of a smaller tunnel in the wall over here. When you heard rock collapsing, it was. Him redigging his way out of a previously dug transit tunnel for Pokemon. The tunnels that are big enough for humans and most Pokemon to inhabit, things that aren't good at running through tunnels, were dug by something much bigger. Okay. So what do you want to do, Zubat boy? I'm looking for some input here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can have the Zubat maybe uh, use its sonar, see if it can find what it might be looking for. Well, that's a not fail. Zoolander seems too distracted by the heat down here to accomplish much echolocation. <laughs> Um, while Zubat Boy is talking to this creature, Heinrich, what are you up to? I am also going to look for a Pokemon. Maybe Nidoran could smell something. You can make an attempt. 
perception. So, while he's doing that, I'm going to use my survival to look for a fire type. Let's see here. Nepo is also struggling to perceive well in this area. Okay. Uh, so I missed what you said, Heinrich. What are you looking for? I was looking for Pokemon. I said I was going to look for a fire type with my survival. Okay. All right. Well, obviously, for your sake, the pool of immense magma beneath you is a wonderful place to look for fire types. There's little other conclusion that one could draw from the air. I mean, I figure it could hang from this wall almost and just use its tail to fucking scoop it out of there and throw it in front of Hans. Make the request. We, we know how the relationship with Onyx works. Ask him to do it, see if he agrees. I mean, I pretty much did ask the question. It's, it's one okay, of the. You're just choosing not to with the token right now. Okay. The token okay. is deployed. He is invisible for me, as has been happening lots tonight. To my perspective, he was not deployed yet. He's right uh, here. Okay. okay. He is not there for me, but that's why I did not know he was out. Um, yeah, yeah. You do see him? Yeah. Okay. Not anymore. Yeah, but... right there now. Seems the two of you can see each other's tokens, and I can and I can see myself, Tazel, and Kennedy's tokens, but not your own at times. There is something fuckery going on with the tokens that we'll have to repair at some point, but not at the moment. Um, so let me see what uh, what is Onyx's? Okay, so for multiple reasons here. Heinrich, you have made the request. Can you accompany it with a bit of persuasion? Onyx is showing significant reservations to sticking his tail into a pool of molten rock. Persuade him to change his mind. You are intelligent enough as Heinrich started to, to see that what he is miming to you is the fact that this is akin to sticking a human hand in a, in a burning oven. Can he do it? Sure. Does he want to? Not really. <laughs> See, I can't imagine why. So I guess with that in mind, I'll just say instead, hey, Onyx, can you throw some rocks in there to see if you can get that thing to come out? Okay. Um, just use roll me the damage die on an Onyx rock throw. <laughs> oh my god. All right, a 12 <laughs> damage rock throw. Which oh, is... bitch. <laughs> All right, where in the pool do you want to aim this rock? Like right in front of his fucking book. right in front of him. All right, as this rock lands with a mighty force in the pool, you see the creature crawling around the surface get hoisted backward by a wave of magma as if it were a boulder hitting the water. Uh, interestingly, as physics would tell you, right, uh, because it is molten rock, the boulder does not sink, it crashes against the surface as if you just threw it on the ground. Uh, and the pieces of debris send the slugma back several feet. Uh, this it perceives as a direct threat and is going to initiate combat by spitting an ember back at Onyx. Which is less than impressive because, of course, Onyx's AC is fairly high. Um, although, although, <laughs> although. Mr. Onyx, you did you did get hit, but a, a, a little drop of molten ember with six fire damage reduced to three. <laughs> a little bitty ember will land on one of your segments, causing some measurable amount of pain, though. 
less than you might expect. I'd be like, oh shit. I'd be like, Onyx, you want to hit that thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are certainly in his personality seat, so if he chooses to attack back for that uh, for that transgression, make the attack. And I'll leave that up to uh, my personality over there. All right, then. Roll me the damage. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. Oh, no. He held back. He held back a little. Um, he does... A whopping 16 damage to one of the Slurgma that are down there. Um, considering fairly that they only have 26 health, that's a big ouchie. Yeah, I can imagine. He's less than impressed. He's less than impressed with the damage that he has taken. Um... I'm going to, let's see something here. Is this a brave, is this a big brave dog or is this a little fancy boy? He's a big brave dog. He's a fool. He's a foolish fool, but he's big and brave. Let's find out, shall we? <clears throat> uh, he's going to crawl forward and once again, unleash an ember in your direction. Of course, this time it is not of significant magnitude and therefore results in little damage, if any. Uh, while Heinrich is initiating living magma, Zubat Boy, what are you up to with this little Zangoose? All of the Pokemon you have with you are small enough or gooey enough to follow you, though. So, you were fine. I feel like Grimer can probably fit just about any space. Fits in all, come fits in all the crevices. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Return to secondary battlefield. Hello, Kendra. Hello. <laughs> we are starting the combat off with a Mr. Fireball. You said you had an idea. Yes. The idea is to scratch your face. <laughs> scratch my face. <laughs> Which I apparently will not be doing. <laughs> it looks like no. How about Chloe? What are you doing? <laughs> Um, she is gonna rock smash again. Actually, right. let me check something really quick on her. Because they're all fairly low. So, let me see how this will work. You're gonna throw a non existent. <laughs> throw a non existent rock, is that what you said? Non existent Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, um... Just mocking the fact that these things have batted away two Pokeballs so far. <laughs> More than make a difference. It's just ridiculous because I got a fucking 22 on one of them already. Like it says the opportunity has passed. You want to know what's funny? You missed that catch chance by one. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to be by one. Look, strength rating, level, and health play into catch chance. I don't tell you. Rock blast this. Uh... Try it. Roll it. Just keep rolling, rolling. Do it. Two, so. 
Oh, Shia LaBeouf over here. Ah. Thank you for recognizing my reference. <laughs> Sure. Roll the damage. If you kill a rock type with a rock move, I'm going to be very disappointed, though. So go ahead and just roll me two damage die, and if the second one is high enough, I'll give you another one. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> They were not high enough to get another one. Yes. So you get the five rocky damage, which is two. <laughs> two points of rocky damage. Did you... Okay. <laughs> yeah. And that leaves us. Oh, damn. I'm going to roll the turn because you rolled them in last, although he's behind you. Speckles. Meep, beep. If you can manage to get around everybody, oh, you can take I a turn. I roll again, because that's my attack. My damage is 2 die 4 so 2 die 4 2 die 4 Is it now? Yes. Is it? Yes. Well, all right then. He gets at least two of those. So we'll start the bidding off at five. Give me another one. Remember, only the first one gets the plus one. Um, so unfortunately for you, that's still not high enough to get another one, though. So that's a total of minus one. So a total of nine damage is still four damage. You have left the Graveler on one HP. Um. <laughs> Sliver is annoying me. <laughs> the Sliver of Green. That Sliver of Green is annoying. The one pixel. <laughs> Well, why didn't you do something about it after the Graveler's turns? I'm going to roll them at the same time. Because they only do one fucking thing. It's all they know. It's not all they know. Oh. 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 Firebolt and Speckles, I'm so sorry. Are you both dead? <laughs> Let's start with Firebolt, my boy. Please don't die from this, son. Uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an eight. Ignore that. That's a zero. I mean, uh, yeah. How about you, Speckles? <laughs> oh my god. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fan fucking tastic. I'm having a great time. All right. Well, oh, Speckles, you were gonna get a turn. Um, so <laughs> let's pop back from Speckles. We skip Strafe, we skip Grey Wind, we skip Fireball. Chloe! <laughs> Please, for the love of fucking God. Would you like to roll Mr. Fister in, by the way, before the end of that turn order? Um, I'll wait to see what Chloe does first. Uh, alrighty then. <laughs> Chloe, you're up. Oh, man. <laughs> These things are just annihilating you guys. Alright, back to the dangerous enemy appears. Yeah. Not the Dracula, not the Dracula one. Fuck that. You've ruined it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Chloe do something. <laughs> Shit just got real. Chloe. Um, Chloe's gonna do I guess she'll fury attack this, uh <laughs> You're lucky these two things aren't high enough to know explosion. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is this is a great dichotomy because at your current strength level, you're terrified of these because they're strong. And when you become really strong, then you'll be still be terrified of these because you'll be afraid they know explosion. <laughs> I still can't hit past like, two damage. Uh, <laughs> like, let's see the damage. Come on, Chloe. All right. It's like Kendra was saying when you guys saw this. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. <laughs> ah, you don't get to roll this at advantage anymore. Your friends are dead. Yeah, All my friends are dead. Uh. <laughs> Chloe, you missed. You better hope Graveler does the same. That hasn't happened yet. What? 
Because this is no, he's he's kind of a dick. Um, ooh. Ooh. Oh Problem is, how about the other one? <laughs> Mr. Fister, spit on him. Oh! Oh! Chloe, now's your chance. Uh, Meat Beeper, you're, Meat Beeper, you're technically in combat. Dodo's moving up here. All right, and take a turn if you and want one. He's gonna actually, he's gonna quick attack this one right above him. Try it. D4. Oh yeah, I just go straight to the point. That's right. Fuck it. He doesn't get any additional. It's just a straight D4. So... Correct. Fucking one. <laughs> Insufficient. <laughs> What? One half. You gotta one half. You gotta well, actually, it depends. It depends on his story. You gotta roll. roll. Oh, this is. You died. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> meep, meep. This thing's teetering on the edge, and you peck it, and it passes out. <laughs> he was the looking at Chloe, and he just kicked like, it. Suck and just pecks him and kills him. And then what? And then what? Meep, meep. That was your bonus. Yep. Try. Roll. Let's see. Rage, that's fine though. I didn't have I need to use a little bonus action. So yeah, anyway. You could not have raged and quick attacked on the same turn. Right, it's only a bonus action for either one. Um <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna this motherfucker because I'll also Sure. Be you pecked him, but for how much? Fucking nothing. <laughs> Let's find out. Teams are looking worse for wear. You pecked him for a total of four points of damage, which is actually perfect because it doesn't activate sturdy. I think he fucking rolled the highest damage I've got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Graveler's turn. Right. Oh. Nah. No, it should be Chloe's turn. Oh, missed. No, Chloe went first. Yep. And then it was Meat Beast. And now it's Graveler. No. Both gravelers went, didn't they? Yeah, both gravelers went. What the fuck no, are you talking about? Twice, <laughs> uh, okay, I skipped Chloe. So I guess it, it should have been Chloe before me, Pete. Oh. Oh well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll just we'll just pretend that I said hold turn until after me, Pete. And then Chloe can take her turn before the graveler. Chloe, if you kill the graveler, will not get another turn. Okay. Kill the graveler, Chloe. <laughs> Do something for your life. So Like, I feel like Rock Smash isn't worth it because it's got less attack chances. Find <laughs> out. That's such a fucking tough one. I'm looking for a roll. Let's see it. Oh my nope. god. Nothing. Meep Beep, you were the last one to hurt me. I'm gonna hurt you back. And because of your shitty AC, yes, I am. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, if you weren't flying type, you had a chance. But that's 12 points of damage to you, sir. Goodbye, Meat Beep. And with that, Chloe. Chloe, the final stand is Mr. Fist. is like, I don't want to die. <laughs> Mr. Fist, stand there. I don't want to die again. Stand right here. Right here, Fister. I don't want to die again. Like, well? <laughs> Even if he chooses to stand there, since he's not in combat, it means combat? nothing. Yep, he is not in combat. Yeah. Come on, Chloe. Wrap it up. These things have just your life, please. decimated your teams. Ugh. Try it. Fuck it. I'll just roll him in. <laughs> if he doesn't hit, it doesn't matter. He'll, he'll go before Chloe next. Does that mean I have to And nope, because he can't participate in the turn he rolled in. Oh yeah, I gotta attack anyway. So. I'm looking for the attack roll from Chloe. Uh, 
Misses. Fister, you rolled into combat last turn. This will be your first turn in combat. Go ahead. Drink. Damn. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Stab my nose with my pencil. <laughs> what? Can you skip the graveler there? What's that? Can you skip graveler? Uh, did I? I did. The I did. I did skip Graveler. He's right. Son of a bitch. Chloe, prepare thine bird cloaca. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, Chloe, that's going to be it for you, dear. Ah. 18 damage is more than you've got left. What the fuck? Oh, shit, why is everybody here? No! What just happened? I pressed up button. Back up. <laughs> I didn't know if like, right, Dave was going to teleport everybody in. And Chloe, you're dead. Tazzle and with that. No <laughs> nope, Tazzle is absolutely out of the game now. Mr. Fister. Stick. <laughs> you're the final hope. It's the final countdown. Before the two of you white out or have to fist fight a grappler. <laughs> Oh, uh, you fucking worthless clutch king could have done this so much earlier. <laughs> it's because I didn't want to, uh, to, to just barely to distribute so much XP and cross. I fair enough. Yeah. Uh, that's plus one because I got stab. <laughs> It's six. <laughs> Fucking one. Him and his fucking one HP. <laughs> you called any other number. <laughs> you made that six, right, Andrew? <laughs> yeah, he had seven HP. God damn it. Okay, go. Oh no, Mr. Fister, please don't die! This <laughs> is so sad! Yeah! Okay! He missed. Finish him up! Wait a minute, actually, hold on. Didn't matter, you didn't get a turn anyway, you flinched his ass. Ooh. <laughs> Mr. Fister, <laughs> we have a wonderful opportunity here. Yeah. How do you want to do this? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Some of the greatest words I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> How do you want to do that? I have no idea. Blast him into the fire. Exactly. Mr. Fister, Mr. Fister fashion is going to come up, sidestep, <laughs> Mr. Fister, and his name is going to take one of his up. arms that he, few, few and far between, has most often has behind his backs. Very mm -hmm. few. On occasion, removes them, socks the fucking graveler right in the face, knocking. The face. <laughs> All right. In a reminiscent fashion to what will once be a common thing for Mr. Fister, you see a square indentation appear where his fist struck, almost in the shape of a brick, but with like finger lines in between it. And the Graveler is just done for. As this smoking, shadowy figure of a, of a fist mark is left indented in his forehead. <laughs> and the combat is concluded. <laughs> Mr. Fister just comes over and he's like... <laughs> he's very pleased with himself. All right. Whilst I distribute... He's XP, just like these fucking kids. <laughs> Whilst I distribute XP, uh, I remind you that your teams are both dead because Firebolt decided to be a douche. <laughs> Here we are. He's like, I'm just I, going to shoot at everything. <laughs> I technically have two Pokemon left. I just have Marshall because he's all right. Oh, I forgot Marshall is here. Oh, um, 
That could have been fucking helpful, Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> He's all dried up. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> His water guns are not very good right now. All right. What do you want? All right, where is... Fister got his XP. Firebolt got his XP. Fister got his XP. Um, Chloe gets XP because she took part in that. Uh, let's see here. Grey Wind gets some XP because he was part of that combat. God, imagine if she got a fucking crit. And then... And then uh, Strafe was oh, part of it for a... <laughs> Strafe was part of it for a minute. Too many fucking low roll um, damage rolls. And then Go Duo was part of it for like 10 seconds. Uh, okay, XP distributed. And what do you guys do with the now empty chamber? Uh, Kendra. She's gonna be like, well, damn. <laughs> uh, but still, there's a mission at hand. <laughs> Okay, Kendra. What so is your mission, and what to, do you want to? She's going to investigate, see if she can find any uh, newel track. Apparently not. Um, Apparently, the answer is no. Were there <laughs> such a <laughs> were there such a thing? It has been covered by debris from the recent combat. In this particular chamber, there is no such thing. Tazel is feeling awfully defenseless <laughs> over there. Yeah. Is there anyone I can? I'll like? take. Bring back out to attempt a medical check and medical heal. They'll get like a couple points back. A medical check cannot revive a Pokemon unless oh, you are true. the medic class. That's true. You need you need a very expensive item to do that. Well, not very expensive. Take Marshall out and to guard Taz. <laughs> Marshall, Marshall comes out looking like a dried raisin. He's like, no, <laughs> not again. Why are we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the only one left. <laughs> What? And he's just very upset with you. Uh, anyway, I don't even see Marshall. The token didn't deploy for me. It doesn't matter. Moving on. Hunter, can I do something kind of weird? <laughs> Tell it. Oh, what do you want to try? Can I attempt to make the... <laughs> yeah, what did you, you say? I missed that. Can I attempt to call a new... Making noises. <laughs> 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 I, I love this. <laughs> I will allow it, but it will not be easy. <laughs> what do you want me to roll, Hunter? Uh, performance. Performance? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Kendra makes sounds akin to a baby cow being slaughtered and attracts no such numerals. <laughs> Tazel, can you help me? <laughs> Tazel is left wondering what the hell you were trying to do. Um... um. <laughs> trying to find a numal. It's uh, the camel looking thing that we fought in uh, the gym. I'll... Perception? Uh, some, uh, tracks. Yeah, I, I already... You may I try. Kendra has already attempted, so the check has become more difficult, but your perception is awfully good. When I say the check has become more difficult, I mean I have moved it up a difficulty tier. Good. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Um, Tazel, you cannot find evidence thereof numal tracks after the recent combat in this particular chamber. Looks kind of messy here. Could do that, but I don't know where you would want to go. These poor, poor rules. Yeah, it's been all game. Have you had it up this would, It's like fucking shit would. damage rolls the whole time. Okay, I guess we'll go over here, move yeah. up this way. There is also this area over here. Um, we can't reach over there, though. You can get up this far, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's the whole tunnel system. Um, let's for a moment. By, we're like, is that Heinrich? Let's for a moment. Um, 
full transparency for you, Zubat Boy. The side quest that you have embarked upon is not currently fully fleshed out. So <laughs> that's going to be completed next week, though I will allow you to begin it uh, in a moment. Uh, but the entirety of it we cannot get to, and not, nor do we have the time. Um, but starting with Heinrich, you have engaged a slug with an onyx. And it is, I believe, the onyx's move in this initiative. Make some hostile action, whatever you wish to do. If he, uh, he did message me that he was going to be laying out his dogs, so... Oh, did he now? I see. For peace. Hey, he did not message me, but that is okay. We, I skip him and go to you. So, but boy, I do not have, like I said, the map created yet, but as you follow the Zmangus for a while, what I'm going to do is draw an imaginary barrier. Huh? I'm going to say that this tunnel does not exist for the time being. And you have found your way into this tunnel. That is going to be my pseudonym for the name. As you crawl your way up until you get your way into this tunnel, the Zangus pops out and sort of looks around. It's like, this is where I expected it to be. Okay. So what's your plan, Zubat boy? You know, I'm going to try and put my detective skills to the test. Love that. What are you attempting to do? Just look for clues. Okay, but that does not tell me which of your skills you are employing. Uh, investigation, which I failed anyway. Investigation check. Oh. Um, it is I... difficult to discern what clues to be looking for when you cannot directly communicate with what it is he's looking for. So though you look around for anything abnormal, it is difficult to tell what is even abnormal in a volcanic cave. As the creature in front of you just remains disappointed. Do what you must with him. Uh, I'll have Zubat knit around see if they can find anything of note. Perception. All right. I suppose. Um. Well, one of them has rolled a 15. <laughs> Who's rolled what? You didn't add bonuses or anything to those either. So what's yeah? Uh, that's because they were perception. They have no bonuses because it's wisdom. I see. So, so yeah, uh, Nidoran, I guess found something. Found something. I see. Nidoran has discovered that the tunnel that you are in is capped off from the rest of the system, and that there are similar sized holes leading to and from in a couple different directions from this tunnel. So some of them appear to be fake. As they will paw at some of the tunnels and reveal that they do not wrap all the way around, while others seem to jut off in various directions. That is what Nira has found. Well, what's that? So, oh. the oh, creature okay. with you seems to be like tapping its claw against various tunnels, trying to decide what to do. Uh, why don't we go back to Tyler? Uh, since uh, kind of skipped his turn. 
All right. Tyler, are you back? Yeah, I'm here. Can you make some manner of hostile action against the Slugma with Onyx? That one or any of them? I will allow you to embroil others in this combat if you wish. Well, I mean, the other ones had um, health bars, so I was like, are they all in this now, or is it just the one? Oh, they have co they have health bars should you choose to do so. Uh, I was like, oh, fuck, did it rile the whole pool? I was like, Jesus Christ. No, they have health bars should you choose to. Uh, they don't have the intelligence to pack instinct like that, I think. <laughs> They're not uh, quite that. I just, uh, I might just intervene and try to catch it in a Pokeball. Sure. You may do that. Simply need to throw it. All right. Heinrich, in this particular case, as a Pokemon trainer who is intelligent, this is a, a moment where you use the remote capture feature thereof, the Pokeball. A feature which uh, does not require the Pokeball to entirely contact the Pokemon. For if you do so, you will even if you catch the creature, you will never recover the Pokeball. And after doing so, such a weak little thing does not put up enough of a fight to resist the capture. And of course, will be consumed by the Pokeball, requesting, of course, that you make a choice slash a sacrifice. Yeah, I'll just send the Slugma away. All right. But a Slugma you have acquired, nonetheless. Um, I will teach you some things about your Slugma here. Um, things to know about your slugma. Um, it's like a little guidebook, your slugma and you. He is level three. It's just a little thing. Nothing too special yet. Of course, they're not super meant to be, but he could be mag cargo's material. Uh, I'm going to roll you a nature. I'm going to roll you a gender. And uh, should be like I think he only has one ability, or yeah, let's see. Uh, no, he's got two. Fantastic. So I have to roll that too. Well, let's start with the ability. Boop. It's uh, magma armor. Cannot be frozen. Damn. I suppose by uh, some lore building, he also helps other people resist freeze. Um, he has become a boy, whatever that means for an amorphous blob of goo. And he is 20. A 20 in the nature chart. That's an AC buff minus something. Um, nimble, that's uh, a add AC, subtract strength. Which means I need to update his goddamn token. Real quick. You got all that? Yep. I got him too. So, I am going to declare us at a pretty good endpoint for the day. 